Pond was fighting to come somebody called Yes Man and gave Yes Man them hands. <laughs> and they turned into No Man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be on camera not freaking the black before I smoke it. And be like, no, alright. <laughs> smell that Ed? Uh, yes. Here's the smell of another episode of the Roco Bros. Welcome, good people. Thank you for joining us today. Uh we are back again, your boys, to present. What are we reviewing today, Ed? The God of High School, episode two. Literally, my jaw dropped on several occasions watching this episode. Like, I thought the, you know, the first episode was a, hold on, hold on, before we even get into that. Like, I, you can't tell I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking excited, because that shit got me hyped. And I'm feeling good right now. Like, Ed made some drinks. You know how we always do, we always gotta, sip on a little, always want to be sipping on a little bit of something. What we got today, Ed? Yeah, today we got us some nice Jamaican rum, Appleton's 12 year. You know, a, a really good straight rum to go with a nice drink. The drinks we're drinking on today uh, is called Dark and Stormy. You know, some rum, some ginger beer, a little bit of lime. So, you know, we still we still out here on the, on the drinks tip. So, salute, sir. That's real good, Ed. That's damn good, Ed. So look. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So look. We're, I'm watching this episode. I just finished watching it. Ed said that he watched it twice. <laughs> so, I'm thinking, if Ed's going to sit down and watch it twice, it's got to be good. That's how, that's how highly I thought he is big. So, I'm sitting here watching it, and... The beginning, I don't know, I was thinking it's all fun and games <laughs> if somebody fucks your shit up. <laughs> bruh, true words have never been spoken. And uh, I don't know, bruh, this 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 episode kind of personified that shit, bruh, because, I don't know. Also, I mean, like, we gonna get into it, too. I feel like it also personifies don't, don't write checks that your ass can't cash. Well, <laughs> well like, okay, because I don't want to skip around. I want to go through like, like the beginning of the of the episode. So like you know, it starts off because when we left last left off in the episode, we got this clash of Jin and Kane. I'm gonna start calling Luke Kane because he was whooping some ass. But, <laughs> but, <Damn. laughs> but so so my boy Luke. So they they had this like clash at the end of the episode. You know, got us super hyped in the last video that we had. So how the episode starts, it didn't even click or strike me like wasn't there like a huge ass fucking fight that we just fucking missed until like three minutes in so what was going on to me oh because they they hit you with park uh who is mujin mujin like the, the <laughs> pentagon i cr I, I started laughing because one of the first questions that the guy in uh in the Pentagon acts was like, somebody explain this to me. <laughs> He's looking at the palm and the grass like, somebody, somebody explain this to me. And I'm like, no, nah, that's a real ass thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like mean... the King Kong around. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you're just thinking about what the fuck happened here, why is there a big ass palm on this fucking island? Like, anybody got any answers? <laughs> no? Nobody? And then the guy who's responsible, Park Mujin, like, he's setting off alarms in that bitch. And the niggas just walking through there like, yeah, see y'all like uh, researching, looking for who did this. I did this. It's me. I'm them. I'm that guy. Any questions? No. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it's it's, it's the one, one of the most G entrances into a place. No, he really did. Like, it was just like, who oh, y'all, y'all, uh oh, y'all wonder? Well, y'all ain't got to wonder no more, nigga. Like, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> All right, what do you do with that information now? Clearly nothing, because he appeared later on in the episode just fine. Not cuffed or nothing, not stressed. But, like, when uh, it was Jen and Mira, and she was talking about a sword, like, there was a conversation in there, and she said something along the lines of, like, like, they were like, oh, the people are always taking your sword. Like, well, shit, I ain't had my glasses. And they were like, oh, that's true. Like, 
if that's the case, they pretty much just told you, yeah, if she got like beat up by this guy, the only reason is because she didn't have her glasses. Mm. If she had her glasses, she probably would have bodied this guy. And that's kind of what they mean. I mean, what by this guy I mean Kane. Because he's going to be. And then they showed the flashback of what happened. <laughs> what, what happened with the, uh, the class between Kang and Jen? And what happened? She, she came. She came behind Jen and snapped his neck. Now here's the thing, Ed. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, you know, that's just some anime, you know, comedy going on. Like he didn't really break his neck. They show him in the hospital with the <laughs> and this man with the most straight face. I'm like, damn, bro, why you had to break my neck? I was like, <laughs> I just got it healed. I'm like. I'm like, wait a minute, did like he she legit cannon break his neck? See him in like the x-rays, like, yeah, the nano machines are working and repairing his neck, because otherwise, I was like, yeah, he I thought it was off the top of Jerry or like some what is it? Wiley Coyote type shit? No. Nah, nah. For sure, bro. Like, no, nah, it seemed like, you know, animes be having them gags and shit. Like, I thought it was one of those things, but then when they when they explained that shit with the nanobots, it was just like, nah. Nah, nah this nigga. This nigga Cannon got fucked up. <laughs> and then he proceeds to lose Mirror Sword or gets it tossed into the river. Or what was it a river? Is it a lake? I don't know. I think it was a river. I think it was a river. Gets it tossed into oh, the river. It was a body of water. Who yeah. <laughs> and she she just all of a sudden her mannerisms change. Stone Cold series. She's like, yeah, get the fuck out of my face. Slaps Jen. And I'm like, wow. I was like, for as many people as took your so, because that was Jen's fucking um, response to to the issue. He's like, well, people are always taking your sword. I don't see what the big issue is, but I don't know. I guess because it was mishandled, disrespected, she felt. But she has a lot of pride in that sword that her, uh, I'm assuming, late father. Well, this is this I know she pride? said it, he is late, and it, I, here's my take on it, bro. I I think it's like, and this is a theory. I don't. But, like, I think it's because, like, you know, when she lost her sword those other times, like, it was in battle. And sometimes in sword, you lose the shit in battle. But since, like, it was among friends or, like, new acquaintances or, you know, uh, you know, Nakama type shit, like, it's like, damn, like, you mishandled, you mishandled this sword that, like, you know, is important to me and we're supposed to be cool. Mm -hmm. And, like, as opposed to, like, losing that shit when you're fighting somebody because, like, you know, shit happens. So I feel like, I feel like her reaction and, like, how that shit just changed because like the anime like this anime is so fucking good because like it was playing this nice happy ass music during the shit everybody's happy go lucky like and then the minute she slapped this nigga like that music cuts off yeah and, <laughs> it was just like and it just made like the whole shit just shifted and like nah i just thought it was like a really fucking really well done shit like a subtle thing to like kind of just like show the shifts uh it like, really it really was a dramatic shift at least for me, in tone change, it's like, because it's unexpected that had a, like you said, had a Jewett and had a, like, you know, the darker colors when she turned around, the expression on her face. I was like, oh, there's no comedy in that. She's dead ass. <laughs> but, but no. Then they switched to, but I love the pacing of it. They switched to the, to the tournament. And you look at the time of the episode, and it was like, you got like half the episode to go. It's like, wow, you guys are giving me like a good bit of information. Like anything with Park Mu Mujing, I'm like, give me more screen time of that guy. <laughs> Hell yeah, no. But um, anytime you see like see that, but they they went straight into the to the tournament, and you see the lineups. They give you the lineups of people, and they show um, you know they show some some people some I'm gonna call them cannon fodder getting fodderized, <laughs> some jobbers getting jobbed out. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, quick, uh, quick couple minute rounds with some of the main characters like Han and Mira and, and Jan. Just you know, real quick, like who did one person who who was fighting somebody? It was Han who was fighting some somebody called Yes Man. He gave Yes Man the hands. And they turned into No Man. <laughs> so <laughs> so then they show like them in the break here and Jen Jen is napping 
per usual. Because that's what you do when you're a strong ass character. You nap. Hell Ask, uh, yes. What's his name? Shinsui from Bleach. Yeah. Or or Luffy. Oh, shit. I mean, anybody who's Oh, shit. Yusuke did that shit, too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, nah. Like, like, any nigga who can just be sleeping. In the middle of just some shit. He ain't did. But that was because he was tired. But he still went to sleep. But, Man, shit. <laughs> But uh, but he was sleeping there, and Kane comes in talking shit. And I noticed that while he was talking shit, like they showed Jin breathing, but like he had stopped breathing for a minute. Then he kind of smiles, like he starts back snoring and breathing again. So I was like, I didn't to even me, catch that shit, bro. To me, it lets, lets me know, like he's like, nigga, my guard ain't down. I'll fuck you up from down here. And later on, it's seen that he will fuck you up from down here. <laughs> so, like, this guy, uh, Gamdo, he uh, practices Tai Chi. He's over there just chilling on a table, meditating, talking shit to Kang. He wasn't, he was talking, he he was acting like one of those badass characters, like Gein, who keep his eyes closed, you know, because his eyes were closed. And you're thinking that when he opens his eyes, he's actually going to, like, you know, be about some shit. Like Lynn. Well, what happened was Luke Kang was about that shit. <laughs> and Luke Kang came in with a kick. But my nigga Jin came in so fast and pulled. Saved him. Yeah, saved him. Like, pulled him back. But I think. I, I think I saw the kick still get, like, the bridge of his nose. And that's why his nose started bleeding fiercely. Like, even Gamdo was like, hey, if you hadn't saved me, uh, fear for what would have happened. And like, he, Jin was sitting there like, yeah, don't let your guard down. Letting him know like, yeah, even though I was sitting there laying down sleeping, let's believe I was I was ready to give you these hands real quick. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out these, that, that uh, you know, per, per usual fashion, Kang is in the match, gets paired up with uh, Gando, practices Tai Chi. Gando comes out swinging. Comes out swinging. And you think he's getting like, you know, the the leg up on him and whatnot. Kicks him into the bleachers. Now here, I, I, I bust out laughing at it. Hold on. I bust out laughing at it. <laughs> There's nothing funnier to me or more badass than an anime. And somebody's taking a bunch of your blows. And there's a, there's a ring out count. 20 second count. Referee's counting in the background. This dude gets knocked into the stands. He's got his hands like locked up or whatever. Because, you know, he's by, he's bound up. That's his style of fighting. Or at least right now. And he tells the crowd, he's like, pick me up. <laughs> and they pick his ass up. He's like, pick me up. He's just chilling like, hey, pick me up. Unfazed by, the, by these multiple attacks he just received by Gando. And then like, what, what, what happened? Um, he walks. Like the count is at maybe like 10. Referee's counting down and the guy is walking to the ring and he's got a good distance to get back into the ring. They're counting down and it's like the referee gets to one and Kang speed blitzes, speed blitzes into the ring and just starts laying a massive, massive, I've seen a lot of beatdowns in anime. This was one of the, he was beating the shit out of him. Yeah. Like, because like he, I guess Gando got uh, Kane to take out one of his arms, because he wanted him to take out his arms. He took out one of his arms, and just with one arm, you guys have to go watch it. Like of all the things I've seen in anime, like that was an unmerciful, beat that and then the idea or the fact that you know that these guys have nano machines so it's like yeah you can pretty much kill your opponent in this ring and they'll be okay but just know it's just gonna get brutal and that shit got fucking brutal Man, <laughs> when he came across this nigga like you said when, when when his hand got free and you just see this nigga just laying into this nigga just fucking this nigga up that shit multiple was hooks right hook multiple strong ass right hooks in. Mind, this is some big meaty hooks. I'm like, that, that nigga. That nigga. 
<laughs> he was get, and then like he gets some like <laughs> I feel so bad for him. It's <laughs> like he's getting uh he's getting ragdolled because he's falling to the ground. And Kane grabs him by the hair. <laughs> and like kind of like makes him look look up at him while like yanking his head his head back. Goes to the mat and comes down with an axe kick to this dude's eye. The audience is like, oh my god, no. Yeah, like, <laughs> no. And the way they, they did that shit, they animated you, they, they closed in on this nigga eye, and all you see is just this foot. Yeah. <laughs> and you you just there. see dread coming down, and you know what it's like. It, and then I'm questioning, it's like, did he take this man's eye? Yes, he took this man's eye with an axe kick. And then he didn't stop there. Like, what happened? He started. He's, <laughs> he started stomping on the nigga. And he then, started stomping on him and talking shit, and tell and asking him. You know, to go into a backstory, but I, I'm trying to remember what happened first. Was it the him trying to get? Was it Gando getting a comeback, or was it the flashback getting more beat down? I think it was. It's, it's 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 all in that same area. I believe that all of that shit happened. Then he started beating his ass. And then, like, you just hear the flashback is like, this nigga Gamdo starts talking like, oh, no, be calm, and be cool, understand where you are, this is your place in the world. And then, like, this is what Tai Chi is. And they come out with that yin-yang strike. Yeah, yin-yang, like, and here's the thing, you know, I'm about, I'm about that yin-yang life. I like that shit. I don't know if y'all can see it or if it's in the camera. Like, it's right there, though. I got a tattoo of that. But, like, I was like, oh, shit, that might do him in. And it, it was crazy how they, they built it up like, it's like, you know, I felt a momentum shift because I felt like that was something that could change the momentum. It was almost like, oh, Kane is going to just job this guy out. Wait, Gando actually stands a chance? That's how they built it up for you because like they showed him, it's like, and he, he was peaceful. He started, he started doing some ultra instinct and doing some smooth, you know, dodges, like pushing his foot out the way. Comes in, lures him in with his own momentum, and hits him with the yin the yin yang strike. Oh. And in like one, and in like one fluid motion, I played it back several times. I'm that guy that like keeps on rewinding back and trying to see what the fuck just happened. <laughs> it's like in that one moment when he hit the strike, you see this wave of explosion, and you're expecting. Kang to be flying back. But you instead you see Gamdo who delivered the blow not only fly back, but he's hurled into the air. And like, it's a nani. <laughs> like my I, my jaws dropping like what the fuck just happened? Apparently Kang's just a, a martial art genius or some shit, cause he apparently like, oh, they you know how to anime, they break down what happened. It's like, oh, uh, he met Gando's blow with an equal force blow. I was like, okay. But the blow came, but like how he did it was, if Gando came at you, you know, with a palm thrust like this, Kane came with a foot stomp to the ground that like sent shockwaves upwards, which I guess fucked up everything <laughs> this guy was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and they also made it like look like he was getting eviscerated prior to like you know Kang's counter attack like the anima the animation was just it was great it was some grade A fucking shit how they used the ring also speaking of the ring I did notice and I found it also hilarious I know it's fun I know it's like aired on Crunchyroll but the ring had an advertisement on the on the banner side that said Crunchyroll.com <laughs> I just found that to be I was like yeah get that shit in <laughs> Hey man, advertise that shit. Get that shit in. But what happened after that, man? So after that, you see the shock wave happen. This nigga gets sent over to the ring. Excuse me. And this man came, come over and just do some of the most anime, TV, real damn life. There's some of the most disrespectful shit I have seen. Just get up there. This nigga barely can move. And just get up in his face. And just be like, yeah, you had enough? Say, I, 
like I forgot what he said. He said, he said say, say, uh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. He said, please forgive me. They don't want to do it. They slapped <laughs> this nigga. Yo, yo. <laughs>